Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the Activity Launcher in Kotlin Android. As you all know, the onActivityResult function has been deprecated, and a new way to call an activity and get its result has been introduced called the Activity Launcher. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity and second activity. And in the UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the main activities layout. And activity underscore second.xml file, which is the second activities layout. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have a button, go to the second activity. And in the activity underscore second.xml file, a button, go back. Let's see the Kotlin code now. These are the imports. This is the main activity. In the onCreate function, when the button is clicked, we create an intent of the second activity and launch an activity launcher. This is the activity launcher. When the app flow comes back from the second activity to the main activity, this is where we catch that flow. Here first, we find out if the result is OK. Then we retrieve the data that was sent by the second activity and show it in the toast. An important point to be noted here is that, unlike the on activity result, we do not use the request codes anymore. So if you are navigating to multiple activities from one activity, you just need to create multiple activity launchers. These are the imports. This is the second activity. In the onCreate function, when the back button is clicked, we put some data in the intent, close this second activity, and go back to the main activity. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the Activity Launcher in Kotlin Android. Thank you.